This is Cashology by FMBO, a podcast devoted to the art and science of managing your money. It's like school, but your only homework is living your best financial life. Class is now in session. Buying a new home, especially for a first timer, can be intimidating. Saving up for a down payment, finding a real estate agent who works with buyers, and then there's all the very intimidating paperwork and documentation. You might worry about making a mistake, but there are people ready and willing to help along the way, and they're going to be on your side. For example, your mortgage loan officer, who can walk you through all the steps, tasks, and requirements to demystify the entire process. Welcome to the Cashology Podcast, hosted by your guide on the path to financial savvy, me, Julie Lyons. Before we dig into this topic today, dedicated to the journey of a home loan, let's uh, listen to some disclosures. <laughs> Thanks, Julie. We'd like to inform our contestants and studio audience the rules of today's game. Let's see what they've won. Investment products are not FDIC insured, not a deposit or other obligation of the bank, not insured by any federal government agency, not guaranteed by the bank, may lose value. This podcast should not be copied or reproduced without permission. Information and statements within this podcast are subject to change without notice. The Cashology Podcast is for informational purposes only and is not intended to constitute investment advice or recommendations. First National Bank of Omaha does not make any representation or warranty as to the accuracy or completeness of any information or statements within this podcast. When making decisions about your financial situation, consult a financial professional for advice. Podcasts are not regularly updated and information may become outdated. Deposit products are offered by First National Bank of Omaha, member FDIC, equal housing lender. The Cashology Podcast, copyright First National Bank of Omaha. Back to you, Julie. Welcome back, and let's give a warm welcome to our new guest on the Cashology Podcast, Alex Drake. Welcome, Alex. Thanks for having me. We are very excited to hear from you. You are a mortgage loan officer with FNBO, is that right? That's correct, yep. So you live, breathe, eat mortgages. You know all the ins and outs, and you can help us today. I do. Uh, I I live in this world so much, I keep a notepad by my bed for when I wake up in the middle of the night. Oh, no. I don't want to live your life. That's... I don't know. Mortgages intimidate me, honestly. Um, I'm in the process of searching for my first home, and I'll be honest, I am so intimidated by it. Thankfully, we have great mortgage uh, loan officers here at FMBO that have helped me. And I'm glad to be speaking with you today to learn more about helping others with this topic and going through the journey of getting a home loan. Yeah. Before I got into the industry, I was exactly like you. I could totally see. uh, I, I felt it. I knew exactly how intimidating the process can be. And that's kind of our job when you sit in this chair is to help make it easy and not so stressful for the buyers. Well, and especially because there are so many stressors in this environment, right? There's the cost of the home, the amount of inventory on the market, and then there's just finding the right spot. Mm -hmm. And then you couple that with the fact that if you are getting a mortgage, watching the rates, because um, where we are at in the market now, which is end of September, we're looking at inventory becoming more available. And we're also looking at prices dropping slightly, mortgage rates, however, higher than last year. So there's so many trade-offs to think of, right? And consider as a home buyer. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of price reductions going on. Um, Some of that is just houses being mispriced when they're listed to start. But yeah, rates are on their way up. That's That's not a news flash to anybody in the market right now. And it does affect some of your purchase power. But the good news is if you're able to get into a house today, it's still a sound investment for your future. And you can always refinance when rates come back down. I love starting off on that positive note because honestly, it's great reassurance for anyone who is intimidated by this. Yeah, you know, there's a there's a there's a great saying in in the industry. It's marry the house, date the rate. So you know, your rate is not forever because you can refinance when they go down or you can find more favorable terms at a later date. I have never heard that, and I absolutely love it. All right, let's get down to business. Let's talk about where we start. Chapter one of buying a home and getting on with your home loan journey. What do we do? Yeah, the first thing you need to do is obviously find a loan officer. I always recommend working with your local bank just because we're also involved with the community. 
but you need to talk to your local loan officer, go through the pre-qualification process, which is a very informal process. It's all self-stated income. You estimate your credit score. And we talk about kind of where you might be able to afford a house payment, what that affects, how that house payment is affected by, you know, you're adding in your taxes and insurance on top of your principal and interest payment, as opposed to just like a rental payment and rental insurance. So some of those things, you know, I always with my clients, we talk about what's a payment that you think you can afford instead of just what can you afford? I appreciate that. And I I want our listeners to feel assured that they can also shop around for mortgage loan officers to work with because same as real estate agents, not everyone's built the same. And I like your methodology, Alex, where, okay, what do you want your payment to be like? And then we can work from there and figuring out the price of the home and even looking from the personal bankers you might work with, looking at your budget overall and helping navigate what you want your cost of living to be, I think is is so beneficial. Yeah. There's a, there's a lot of my clients that, you know, I've been working with six, seven months where we are really just looking at their budget. They know they're not ready for a year or so. So we're finding everywhere that we can cut from their budget to see how much they how much of a payment they can really afford. There's so many first time buyers and even second second and third home purchases where they qualify for so much more than they're willing to spend monthly. And part of that is they might have to make a lifestyle change. Well, so let's talk about Alex. We've migrated out of the planning stages. We've picked our mortgage loan officer. We have a real estate agent and maybe we're getting close to making an offer on a home we like. What does that pre-approval process look like? And then next steps there. Yeah, at that point, we go through the full application process. We provide two years work history, income documentation, two years rental history. And then we go through the process of pulling your credit, matching your, your liabilities as they're reported on your credit report versus your income. See what kind of a payment you qualify for. If that payment is what you're comfortable with as well. Then we fit you into the price range and we take a look at your assets, what you have for down payment, closing costs, all of that. And we kind of couple it to find you not only the best product that fits you, but the price range. Can we talk more about down payments? Because I think if we talk about intimidation, down payment is one of those, right? Yep. Um, What percent should we be putting down? And what are factors we should consider? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm a little bit different in this than than some loan officers as well. You know, statistically, you're going to be in your first house for five to seven years, or at least in that first mortgage, you're going to get price, you're going to get value increase throughout that process. So the 20% down payment is no longer a necessity for for buyers. Uh, As a first time buyer, you can qualify for as little as 3% down. If you're a first time buyer here in the state of Nebraska, you can actually qualify in some cases for as little as $1,000 out of pocket. But yeah, conventionally, you're looking any as a first time buyer, minimum of 3% down. If it's a second or a third home, minimum of 5% down. FHA will allow 3.5% down. And then there's some programs that have zero down, just kind of depends where you fit. Some of those programs are restricted by area and zip codes as well. It's all going to be dependent on what you're looking for. And that's where we come in as the loan officer to help you navigate that process. That makes sense. And then once we know what we want to put down, what percent, um, we figured out what type of loan after working with you. Mm -hmm. Um, We've made an offer with our real estate agent and the owner of the home we're trying to buy has accepted. What happens then? We're not done, right? (laughs) No, we are not done. So once, once you have an accepted contract and it makes its way over to my desk, things really pick up. Uh, At that point, you know, we have to order an appraisal for you. We have to send out disclosures for you to sign. You get, you get a few days to actually decide if you want to move forward with us or if you still want to shop lenders, you can do that as well. But yeah, we have to go through the appraisal. Now we're seeing inspections again that we haven't seen in the last couple of years. So buyers are getting to have some inspections done. As a buyer, when you get that accepted contract, you're also going to have to put down an earnest deposit that's negotiated in your contract. That is credited towards your total out-of-pocket expense at the end of the transaction as well. So it's not your 5% plus this $2,000 earnest deposit. That $2,000 earnest deposit 
can go into that. And then once the earnest deposit is made, that piece is non-refundable if you decide to not move forward, right? For the most part, yes. Sometimes you can negotiate it out. It's usually, it is refundable if something happens, if financing falls through, Mm. something comes up on the back end that we weren't aware of that disqualifies you. If you get denied, you can get that back. But if you just decide to back out of the transaction, it is non-refundable. Okay, good to know. All right, then what's next after all of that? So we go through the appraisal process. We we send the loan through underwriting. Um, and if you've gone through the full pre-approval process, the underwriting part should be fairly painless because most of that's already been done. Um, but then we, at that point, we, we find out what conditions we need. You settle on a new homeowner's insurance policy that whoever you select for that homeowner's insurance, we work with them to make sure they have everything that they need from us to make sure the policy work for the financing. Then we get to the closing table at the end of this. You get some writer's cramps, sign in a lot of documents, but then you become a homeowner. And that's it. Easy peasy. You made it seem Yeah. You made it seem so simple. And I think that's one of the benefits of working with a, a pretty tenured loan officer like yourself, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and say that I'm not learning something new every day in this job because there's so many changes. And that's why you have to, as a buyer or somebody looking to refinance, you have to find a trusted source that sits in this seat because it's our job to stay on top of that stuff. It's our job to help you navigate the process and make it as simple as possible. The hardest thing for for the buyers should be finding the right house and collecting their own documentation that they should have pretty easily in this day and age where everything's electronic. I love that. That's, that's the reassurance I think our listeners needed if they're pursuing their first home purchase. Well, Alex, you have been excellent as our guest today and navigating through this home buying journey. Are there any parting thoughts you want to share with our listeners today? Don't be intimidated by the market. And I know as a as a first time buyer in the past, you know, sometimes going to talk to your mortgage lender can be intimidating. I I say it all the time. I understand why it's intimidating. The worst thing that we can ever say is no. And we don't ever want to say that our job is to help help you through the process help you get into a house. And that's what we want to do. So don't be afraid to reach out to us. Even if you're not ready, we can help get you ready. That's great, Alex. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. And for any listeners who are curious about meeting a mortgage loan officer like Alex and learning more about purchasing a home, feel free to go to fmbo.com to learn more. Thanks everyone for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and keep an eye out for future Cashology episodes coming your way soon.